Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a journal with me process. I know it's been a little while since my last video, but I really hope you enjoy this one. Last year I created a spread in my journal, documenting our cat Starbuck, which you can watch as I film the process. It's Journal With Me episode 33, which I'll link for you in the description box. I didn't want our other cat Costa to feel left out, so today's spread is all about him. He is the complete opposite of Starbuck. Starbuck is the fun one, Costa likes to spend the majority of his time sleeping, so it's really hard to get photos of him doing anything else but sleep. I did manage to find a few photos that I wanted to add into my journal, and this time I printed my photos smaller. I usually print two photos on 4x6 photo paper, but this time I printed four photos on the 4x6 photo paper. So you can see here, I'm just having a little play with some items I have pulled out from my stash. I have some vintage children's book pages, and I think these came from a little golden book. I also have this little red floral envelope that I think I got in some happy mail. I'm not really sure where it came from. I've had it in my stash for ages. I've just been waiting for a good time to use it. I also have some scrap paper. This is just some lined paper that I found in my stash. And you can see here I'm just tearing it in half. And I'm going to be adding this onto the page so I can do some writing a little bit later. I didn't feel like either of those pages were suitable for writing on, so I thought this paper would be perfect for that. So I'm just using my glue stick to attach it onto the page. So here I'm just adding some double sided tape on the back of the photo. It's my preferred way of how I like to stick photos into my journal. I chose this little envelope for this page because I thought it would go well with the opposite page because the pattern on the opposite page is red so I thought it tied in really well and there's also some red on the photo above it as well and I'm just using my glue stick on the back of this envelope because it's not too thick. I'm going to use the envelope to hold one of my photos and that circle cat sticker came with the envelope in some Happy Mail too. having a little bit of a play with these vintage book pages. I know I want to use one of them at the top of the page, I'm just not sure which one. So this one here I thought looked a bit more like Costa, but the one in the basket I thought looked nicer. It also has a little bit of red on it, so it ties in really well with these pages. So all I'm doing is tearing them down by hand to make sure that they'll fit at the top of the page. And I think by this point I've chosen the cat in the basket just because it fits better at the top of the page and like I said it has that little bit of red in the picture.
I like to go in with some washi tape just to add a little bit more decoration to the page and because there's some green on the page I've chosen this green spotty washi tape. I'm not sure where it's from but you can see here I'm just cutting it in half so it makes thinner strips of washi tape. And I was finding that this sticker wasn't staying stuck down, it had lost all its stickiness. So I added a little bit of glue stick to the top of the sticker and attached that to the flap of the envelope. I've pulled out some alphabet stickers. These have been in my stash for ages and I'm going to be using them to spell out Costa's name. And I just fill in that little gap there with one of the other stickers and a little star sticker. And now you can see I've done my journaling off camera. I've just written on that scrap piece of paper. And I have this little pile that's slightly off camera of just some other little bits and pieces I thought I might like to add onto the page. And here you can just see me fiddling with a really tiny bit of washi tape that I'm going to add on the back of that sticker to keep it closed down. I didn't want to permanently close it, I wanted to make sure that I could still open the envelope. I didn't really like how any of the other bits and pieces were looking on the page, so I've gone ahead and pulled out some stickers. These are by Crepe Paper Maggie Holmes. And you can see here that I've chosen a sticker from this sticker book but in the end I didn't like how it looked and I add it back into the sticker book. For some reason I was being a little bit indecisive with my stickers this time and I'm not too sure why. I love adding stickers to my pages because I like how they look and it adds a little bit of extra decoration. And you can see here that I was being really indecisive with this heart sticker. I didn't really like the empty space at the bottom of this page, so I add a couple of clear stickers to this page as well. And these are the finished pages. It's a pretty simple page but I love how it turned out. Our cats are a huge part of our family so I'm really happy that I got to add some photos of Costa into my journal. Do you add photos or pictures of your pets in your journal? Let me know by leaving a comment on this video. Here is a closer look at some of the details. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.